We got our tequila, our triple sec, cram pomegranate, frozen cranberries, and some candy canes. Santa's about to get drunk, or maybe she gonna get crunk. I don't know. Y'all be asking questions, so we gonna answer them with the deer. Oh dear, it's time to get drunk. I'm get baby's cute little drink with my Versace cup. Tis the season for cocktails. I'm tired, y'all, so you know, usually. So you just saying opera like that? Don't, baby. It was the crack in the voice for me. Don't. It was the crack. Don't, but you don't <laughs> fine, but don't. Now check this out. We asked y'all for some questions. Y'all gave us some questions. But look, we already been drinking, so look. Make sure you check out the last video where I prank baby. Because if you can see, don't look at my eyebrows, but I got a swollen ass eye right here. Oh my gosh, I know you ain't about to get on here it's lying on me. It's because she punched me in my oh eye. Oh my that. god. I didn't even know where she was going with this. That is a bold faced <laughs> lie. That is on no. Whoa, it's gonna be black but, tomorrow, huh? Is it blue? No, not yet. It's gonna be creeping in the morning. Vlogmas, y'all. We are so super we got these fucking deer booties looking us in the face. Hey. Oh boy. But yeah, we're super excited to Christmas cocktails with y'all. Found these, we like them, we've been drinking them today, and they, they hitting. They doing what they are supposed to do, right? We not big on tequilas. Cause we usually don't get along on tequila. No, we don't. So, so these Christmas margaritas, did you just eat a frozen cranberry? Oh, that wasn't, that wasn't. Damn. Why don't it taste like nothing? But yeah, it's a Christmas margarita. We are making Christmas Margaritas, jingle them bells, hold jingle them bells. Baby, there's a lot of things that you're good at and I love you for all of them. That was creative. It was, but your singing, girl? That that was a wrap. Leave that shit alone, girl. That was a wrap. We gonna make the cocktails with y'all, tell y'all what's in them, and then we gonna answer y'all questions. We picked some because these Q&A videos get way too long. Yeah, so we can't answer all of them, but next time we gonna get you, next time we gonna get you, next time. You over there, look, shorty, we gonna get you over there. I see you thicky, thicky, we gonna get you over there. <laughs> you want a whole shot or a half a shot? That, no. The whole one? I'm gonna make my own. Okay. So, this is how we do it. We are gonna go like this. You, If you thug in, you gonna oh, get a little splash. Oh, you free porn? No, little like that this. ain't how you do it. You gonna do a little splash like that. You see that? Splitty, splitty, splash. Three little splashes. Boom. Then you gonna get your cranberry. You gonna go ahead and fill that up till that goes up to the top of the ice like that. Boom, boom, like that. Somebody please comment down below that she's doing it you wrong. You feel me? Then this sour shit that's wrong. gonna make your head hurt tomorrow, you barely even need that shit. You just gonna boom, boom, like that. Well, if anyone knows anything about you triple sec, it's that it's not sour. And then it's sweet, I meant. I meant sweet. <laughs> and then you gonna get your lime and you just gonna kill it with the lime. Like you gonna go overboard with Go the ahead lime. and get yourself some frozen cranberries. And cranberry. make sure that you wash the back of the lime so you can throw them holes in there like that. You get another one like this, boom. If you a gentle woman, you gonna do the line for your leg like this. Look, check this out. Mm. Okay, girl. Here you go. I know you fancy. And then, <laughs> if you a gentle woman, you gonna... Is that how gentle people get down? You gonna go like that. Just so your, <laughs> your woman shit is fancy, but keep your shit thugged out. We forgot one of the main things. You gotta start with candy cane. And that's yeah. and part of what, what makes you gotta it. do if you thug it. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you gotta do if you dug it, okay? Oh shit. Yeah, <laughs> just get that shit in there. Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. That shit gonna be fire. Uh oh, my candy cane. But broke. you know what? Uh -oh. Since earlier, I didn't really like how the candy cane was giving me a little spice, like a little minty something. It, I wasn't feeling that shit. So I'm gonna wrap. I'm gonna start mine with the wrapper. No, I ain't even gonna wait. No, I'm gonna start. Look, my candy cane. Look. <laughs> Oh, candy cane. But you know what? The candy cane does give it a different flavor. It makes it taste like Christmas. Yeah, it really does taste like Christmas. They yeah. really is hitting though. They, they really, really, they how really pretty is babies is giving what they're supposed to give. We don't usually drink tequila, but we was feeling a little bit gangsta. You know, we wanted to put our relationship on the line. So <laughs> I know. We did. We did tonight. not want to put our relationship. We did that on tonight. Line, See how solid we is. We <laughs> check back tomorrow. I do have a black eyebrow. <laughs> Make sure they notate that before tomorrow so yeah, they not like, oh, they was drinking tequila. Oh, yeah, because I'm going to have a black eye by tomorrow. Ash so. woke up with a black eye. <laughs> sure, I'm going to have one. Cheers, baby. Cheers. Cheers to my cute wife. Cheers to my sexy zaddy so, and to a good holiday. A good holiday. So something, side note, that has nothing to do with nothing. It's funny because every morning when we wake up, Jodeci has like a compliment for Whitney. Like, I'm not in the bed. You wake up and be like, Mame, you're a good person, Mame. And I'm like, number 10. Hey. <laughs> She'll be like, and you're really cute, man, man. <laughs> questions. Cheers to a good holiday season. Cheers, cheers to the vlog. Cheers to y'all. Cheers to y'all.
Because you know y'all a lot more consistent than us. <laughs> Question number one. How long have you been together? <laughs> Don't look at me like that, you better know. So like been together or been married? Been together. Since 2014 or was it 13? We met in 2013, we got together in 2014. We've been together since I met you, girl. That's what you say, girl, but you with other people. That's what I said, right? <laughs> what did I tell you when I met you? You did, you told me, you told that me. That was it. That was it. So you wrap, wrap the bullshit up, it was over. Mm. And one thing about baby, she gonna get what she want. And one thing about baby, she had niggas chasing her to the car. <laughs> and I'm like, who are these niggas? Like, we're Shut talking, up. and I'm like, who the fuck are these niggas? <laughs> She's like, oh, don't worry about them, girl. What's up? <laughs> I'm like, okay, shit, you focused though, so we good, we good, we, we good. <laughs> Question number two, how do y'all keep the spark between? Honestly, I think for us, our spark really comes naturally. But we also be getting on each other's nerves a lot, too. <laughs> I know I get on your nerves and you get on my nerves. So like the spark- oh, I get on your nerves? You know that. The spark is I always do? there, but sometimes- How do I know that? You could tell that you be on my nerves. Oh, this is all new information. Shut up. Sometimes the spark is like, like a propane tank spark. Sometimes it's like, you know, like a firework spark, but it's always there. But you know, it's like a different kind of spark. Well, that I get on your nerves. <laughs> That's a part of any long relationship no, or marriage is that people sure get it on my nerves. But Don't go sure. getting carried away now. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well, don't go like being carried away now. Yeah. But the spark don't go nowhere. Like, but how do you keep it? Um, communication. Yes, that's like one of the biggest things. Communication, communication. and consideration. I think and that silence. Yeah, ain't always gotta speak what you thinking and feeling. You just right. shut the fuck up sometimes. Right. Cause it don't matter. Being right don't matter. I know, cause I'm always right. So the fact <laughs> that she's always wrong, it don't matter. <laughs> shut up. I stay right. But you know what? I just look at her and she just knows. I'll tell her something and it'll happen, and I'll just be like, and Who then, knew? When they be and lying, she knows what I'm saying. Just be like, cause she lying. I <laughs> Question number three. Have y'all been trying to conceive? Not trying right now? No, and there's a lot of reasons behind it. I feel like my hormones is still really off from the miscarriage, and like I feel like I could be possibly dealing with some postpartum type stuff. So I just don't feel like right now is the time to go manipulating hormones and messing with like birth control. We talking and all about that. it. We talking about it, and I think moving into the next year, we'll make like some good solid decisions on like at what point we gonna move forward with it. But right now, I'm just trying to get like my mental right and stuff like that. Just being the right place for it. Question number four. How are y'all doing overall physically and mentally? That I feel like kind of goes in with the last thing I was saying. I'm struggling a little bit and I think maybe I got seasonal depression and baby kind of confirmed that this year for me because I was like I don't know I just feel really down and I look around my life and it's like what are you sad for? How did I confirm that? And you was like you do this every year. <laughs> He was like, you go through this every single year at this same exact time of year. She's like, so remember how when I first met you and you was like, oh, I got seasonal depression. And I would be like, oh, you crazy. You ain't got no damn seasonal depression. Well, you got seasonal depression. Facts. <laughs> so baby, come Side acts up around this time of year too. Mm -hmm. So it must be some genetic shit that we got passed down to my son. He ain't got depression. He just be bad as hell. <laughs> right, right around Christmas time. Right around Christmas. He always grounded right around Christmas mm -hmm. break. All Always. And me and Cece just dug it. Like, what's wrong with y'all? Awake at what's odd hours of the night. How am I physically and mentally? Physically, I'm motherfucking tired. <laughs> I can't stop working. I'm in my bag right now. I literally can't stop working. And I don't really mind. I'm on the motherfucking grind. Mentally, I'm, I feel like I'm cool. I'm too busy to be cool. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm too busy, busy to not be cool. I do want to take some time to spend with my family and shit. Dealing with baby is, it's not bad. It's frustrating sometimes, but she takes on a lot. The new shit we got going on to the kids, to the house, to all that. So when I'm starting to get like, damn, what the fuck is wrong with you? Or like, God <laughs> damn, you be acting crazy. Or like, shit, you got an attitude. I kind of evaluate all the things that she deals with. Our kids, they kind of bad, the yeah. house, everything. <laughs> cooking clean because I get home from work and I'm so tired and I know that that's a full-time job for her too but she's still doing everything laundry cleaning cooking all that that kind of helps me balance how in I'm gonna go on there <laughs> well I appreciate that 
That's that consideration. <laughs> that happy life, happy wife shit goes both ways. So you gotta keep yourself happy, pick your battles. You know? Right, right. Question number five. Clay, don't be asking no dumb ass questions. <laughs> yeah, we love you. We, we love you. We Clay. hella love you. Next question. Sai has been quite missing. School, work, or family choice? Um, I think it has a lot to do with all of those things. Mm -hmm. Cece's in the videos a lot more from her own choice. She wanna be over here, she's gonna be over here. That's on the ground, that's everything. Sai, he's been busy with school, he's getting older. Mm -hmm. He enjoys being on the channel and shit too, but. Kinda also likes to be doing his own thing. But since y'all miss him, we get that question a lot. We gonna, we gonna make him. He gonna pop out for y'all. Where do y'all think y'all would be if y'all never met each other? That's an that's evil little smirk you got going on there. Where would you planning <laughs> on being at? Like, I'd be everywhere. Yeah, you Ain't right. no telling where I'd be at. Right, that is I'd be a little bit everywhere. The truth. Somewhere plotting on a bag. I don't know where I would be at. I had plans on like moving to Europe or something with Messiah. So I don't know, who knows if I would've like actually did it or what, but that was kind of like the plan is when he got a little older, me and him was going to dip off to Europe. I was, was going to be there. everywhere. Hey, holla, hit me up. What <laughs> DMV, nigga? What's good? <laughs> Where the party at? What you want? What you need? What's good? What's cracking? <laughs> so I guess to, in perspective though, I would have moved to California first. My mother was living in California. She really wanted me to come out there. And that was kind of the plan was for me to move to California with my mother because I had just finished school. And then I met Ashley and the plans kind of changed. But I don't think I would have did that well in California because I am just not a Cali girl. Thank the Lord. No, <laughs> no disrespect to y'all Cali girls. Y'all, y'all, y'all live much, Gayla. <laughs> I'm just too innocent. It ain't even that. Being sweet and stuff. It I ain't just, even that. What is it? That's a whole nother, a whole nother video. video. No disrespect to the Cali girls. No, no, no disrespect. disrespect I just, all. I don't think I can hang with y'all. I ain't, I ain't uh, cut like y'all. Last question. What is your New Year's resolution if you have one? Mine is to be consistent. Yes. Whatever I do, I just want to be consistent. Being present with my kids, my, my money, my hustle, my YouTube, everything. I just want to be consistent. And, and I you. think with that, like one of the things that I want to be consistent on is just my like my health, eating well, fitness, caring right. about like my water intake and stuff like that. Water, what's that? <laughs> right, because every year I kind of cycle through this. So the beginning of the year, I'm like eating less meat. I'm doing really good. About March, I kind of fall off a little bit. By about November, Thanksgiving time, I'm kind of just like, oh well, you know, I'm gonna just kind of drink every day. You should kind of drink today though. That's cool. And kind of eat whatever I want and start back over in January. So Drink every day. Yeah, we've been drinking almost every day. Who? You lying. <laughs> you wish you were drinking every day. When was that? Right when we met? Every day for what? Three days? It's December 3rd. Yeah. First, second, third. <laughs> so you've been drinking every day for three days. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> for sure, baby. All right. Really, actually, the last question. Is it unreal to be where you're at in your family and marriage? I think so. I think so too. And it's funny that you asked that question because I think that all the time. Me too. Like how, how lucky the and blessed girl, I am. Can you hear CC y'all? We gotta go soon. But just to me, my life is perfect. So I, I appreciate that. I feel blessed. I'm very grateful. And just to see how much we've grown. A lot's changed since then. Mm -hmm. How many years is that? Four years, eight years? Seven. Eight years. Seven. Well, and I be trying to remind baby that too, like I'm, I'm a 30 year old woman now, I'm 31 actually. So like she met me when I was 23. So a lot of a lot of who I was at that point and stuff has, has changed and shifted and like my ability to love. Get and over here, love girl, come on to mama. <laughs> has changed a lot. So I've enjoyed kind of continue evolving with Ashley. Cause Ashley's a lot different too, you know? How am I different? You're a lot calmer and stuff, a lot more positive. A lot of low low jabs. No, no, that's not a low jab. And you also have come a long way with like not holding your grudges and not giving me the same. Oh my God, is this a counseling session? <laughs> no, but I'm saying like we both have grown a lot. I was very immature. Stop being grown. No, no, no. I was very I immature and... Playing. No, I feel what you're saying. We, we've both grown and we've grown to compromise and mm -hmm. know each other. We love y'all. This was a quick little drunk uh, experience that we had with y'all. 
and the reindeers. And we appreciate it. We love it. Make sure you follow us on social media. Ash and Wit is our joint page, and then Nacho Chick is her page. Nacho Chi Chick. Oh, and Nacho we appreciate y'all rolling. Chee, chee. And we appreciate y'all always hopping back in the car with us when we pull up. Yeah, because you know, we ain't really been consistent. But the, the the ones that roll with us, roll with us, and they're like, oh, yeah, them are inconsistent family members. Uh -huh. <laughs> family members be like, girl, you, yeah, right. You, you just gotta love them where they at. Yeah, you gotta love them where they at. We love y'all. <laughs> Hello.